In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to run the tight slots halfback week in the Cincinnati Bengals offensive playbook in Madden 23. If you want to get my entire ebook on this formation, the link is going to be in the description. You can join the Patreon for just $10 and it'll get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Tight slots halfback week is the predominant best offense in Madden. Most pros would agree that this is the number one offense right now in the competitive circuit. Um, potentially Saints type, but this is really, really powerful. So the audibles we're going to set is post ball drag, and we're going to set flood. And it's going to be actually a really simple scheme. And what we're going to do is we're going to audible from bunch offset to tight slots halfback week. Now, there are a ton of other great formations in Cincinnati, um, like bunch halfback strong, wide trips weak, tight wide off. Uh, but we do have this tight slots. And the beauty of this is we can audible over in one one click and it's actually super simple but can be super effective so the first concept that I wanted to go over is I think the number one concept in Madden and something that every I think should be at the cornerstone uh, of every single Madden 23 passing system because it literally just destroys man to man and it kind of simplifies the game a little bit for your offense it's going to beat man well it's going to beat the blitz well it will beat zone as well um, but its primary purpose is to beat man so we're going to go to post wheel drag or mesh spot and I'll show you how to run both of them um, but we're going to go to one of the one of these two plays and we're going to basically run a slant post concept so the first way we're going to run it is this mesh spot setup where we're going to out route the tight end we're going to slant the slot receiver christian kirk we're going to flat the left side receiver i like to then smart route that post route i do think it does help it significantly um, if you are first down in 10 or less if you're first down in 10 or more you don't need to do that uh, but what you're going to see here is this is one of the best man beaters in the game. Now, the thing about tight slots halfback week, which I don't know quite how to put my finger on this, but it seems like the routes run cleaner uh, from this formation. That's one of the reasons I think a lot of people like this so much is because the routes, they just run really, really, really well. And it just makes it so that they get to where they're going quicker. That's just my opinion. Um, but I do think that they do run their routes just a little bit better than they do out of other formations. Now, you'll see here this post route in the middle of the field. Um, you've got to throw that a little bit earlier than I did, and you might not want to freeform it. But basically, that post route in the middle of the field is going to be pretty good if they're not – if they don't have any safety help over the top, if they use her the slant, you know, really Madden is fairly simple. If you can isolate the user, it can really change uh, how people defend you. So you should, you know, try to isolate the user in any in any circumstance. As you can see right there, the post uh, being very effective. Now I want to show you how to run this out of another play in the formation, and this play is the perfect complement because they just basically run the same concept. It's just to the opposite direction. The play is post will drag out of tight slots halfback week. And uh, what we're going to do with this one is now the post is going to be coming from the left side of the screen. So we're still going to put our tight end on an out route. We're still going to slant the backside receiver. And then what we can do, a, we have a couple different options in, in terms of what we want to do with Christian Kirk. One of the things I like to do is actually motion him across the formation and put him on a streak. Uh, and then put the running back on like a table route or some type of out route. I think this is the best setup um, because it gives you a clear out route against zone coverage. But you'll see here this post, super effective over the middle of the field. And then you have the slant as the if the user decides that they want to guard the post. So you're basically just reading the user in the middle of the field. And based off the decision that the user makes, you're going to then want to throw either your slant route uh, or your post route. So fairly simple read. Uh, progression if you think about it again you're looking post no okay I want to throw the slant you see how the slant kind of runs right underneath the post in a nice concise uh, pattern now I want to show you how this play works against different zone coverages as well so I'm going to go to cover four most of the time when people do want to run cover four they are going to run some sort of hard flat uh, system typically speaking they're going to run some sort of like a hard flat out of a cover four. So what that's going to do is it is going to take away your tight end or your flats on both sides. But your your slant is going to be wide open, as you can see right there. Open to the sideline, super simple, easy read over to the left side. So again, we kind of get them into the same essential dilemma. Are they going to use the slant or are they going to use the post? So in this example, um, we're still going to be in cover four. And now my user is going to focus on guarding the, the slant route. You'll notice that when he goes to the slant, it's going to leave a void in the deep intermediate area of the field 
for that post route right over there. As you can see, that post route was running open uh, over the middle. And I'll show it to you one more time. And that's basically the same thing against almost every zone coverage. Almost every zone coverage in the game. So, like, in cover three, it's the same basic thing. Because the yellow zones, the reason this, the, the post is really valuable um, is because the yellow zones don't run underneath the post. Um, or they, they, they can't drift uh, to the post. The post gets to a, a, a spot on the field that is really hard to use. Or as you see right there, you just want to ag it. And as you can see, super effective against zone coverage. Now I'll show you one more uh, coverage real quick, and that's match coverage. Match coverage um, is actually making a resurgence. A lot of people are running match coverage at a 3-3 cub, which I actually think is a great coverage to run, uh, in my opinion. But match does have its fair share of, of difficulties. So another setup you could do, we didn't get into this yet, but you could run this out of mesh spot if you want to have a clear out streak. I do think clear out streaks are helpful. Uh, and then what you can do with your running back here is just put him on an out route. Just put him on something simple. You could even just block him, okay? Um, but anyway, here's match coverage. You'll notice the post route just cooks it uh, over the middle of the field. And so again, that user that was running with the slant, that's the middle linebacker. So if the middle linebacker is their user, their user has to either choose again based off the slant or the post. I want to thank you for watching the video. And if you want to get my entire tight slots offensive ebook, make sure you join the Patreon. The link is down in the description of the video.